Hey guys, Shelly here with Healthy Homestead Chick. And today it is rainy and I'm going to spend my time doing some keto cooking. So stick around. So yesterday, Boon Child posted a video about some keto cookies that she was making. So I thought I would try her recipe. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm also gonna show you just some short clips. I'm not gonna do full recipes of some other things that I have going on. And maybe it'll give you some ideas of how to prep for the week. So here's my cookie dough. I'm going to drop a link in the description to Voon's page and you can get the full recipe. The only thing I did different is she used allulose as the sweetener and I'm using monk fruit and she used a coconut oil powder, which I don't have. So I use just regular old coconut oil. So once again, the um, tripod bandit has stolen my tripod and actually is out of town. So I'm not going to be able to let you guys watch me do this, but I'll just show you little clips. So I'm going to stir this up and get this on our parchment paper and I'm going to bake this in the air fryer. So here are the cookies fresh out of the oven. It looks like the white chocolate chips just kind of melted a little bit. They look really good. They smell good. This is the first time baking cookies in my air fryer. So that's kind of a new experience too. So I'm gonna let them cool and we will try them in a little bit. So here is the rest of this batch. I'm getting ready to put it in the uh, air fryer. And these I decided to smush. The others, I just use the, um, this, <laughs> this scoop. And I just left them in a rounded scoop. These I'm smushing flat just to see uh, if they cook a little more evenly. I thought these would kind of flatten out like a regular cookie. I should have known better. I've cooked enough keto foods to know better. So we'll see how these do. All right, here's round two out of the air fryer. And I really like the look of these better than the others. Has nothing to do with the recipe or anything else. It's just personal preference. So it's not a big deal whether you like a rounded cookie or a flat cookie. But while these were cooking, I did try two of these <laughs> while they were still warm. And this recipe is excellent. It is really good. Um, it's just a tad, just a little bit sweet for, for my liking, but I don't eat a lot of keto sweets. Um, I make them, I might make something once a month or once every six weeks. So I don't have a lot of sweets. So I would probably reduce the amount of monk fruit that I used in this. We had to pause from cooking to come check on animals because one of the ducks, actually two of the ducks, not these, not the Pekings, but that one that's hiding over there, that white and gray one. And one of the other gray ones was sitting up on top of the fence. And they're not even supposed to be out here. They're supposed to be in here with these guys. But they have learned to fly, so I'm out collecting animals, and then I'll go back to cooking. Sorry about that. We're back now. What I was saying is I would reduce the amount of monk fruit just a little bit. I used just under a half a cup because that was what was left in my, um, my bag of monk fruit. So I might go to a third of a cup and try that. But these are excellent. I mean, they are really, really good. And um, if I had a nice cold glass of almond milk, I could probably sit down and eat way too many. So excellent job, Voon. Um, Y'all go check out her channel. She does some great, great, interesting stuff. Uh, lots of keto stuff, lots of gardening and fun stuff like that. And stick around here and I'll show you some other things that I've got going on. Let's take a look at lunch and some of the food preps that I've got ready for us. I 
always buy the 50-50 blend uh, salad mix from our local grocery store. And I don't know how many of you do this, but I take the kitchen shears and cut up my lettuce. I've already done it in here, but just wanted to show you. Just because I don't like eating these huge leaves and fighting with them as I eat. So I just cut it into bite-sized pieces. And I have browned, this is ground beef and chorizo. So I ground them, or I browned them, not ground them. I browned them together. I added a little bit of chili powder, it's a sweet chili powder and cumin and uh, salt, and that's all I've added to that. This is a rotisserie chicken that I bought at the store yesterday, and I like to um, debone those as soon as I get them home. While it's still warm, before I stick it in the refrigerator, um, I want to go ahead and debone it, and that just makes it easier. And you can tell I've got small pieces in here, and then I've got like the whole the whole breast that's actually breaking right now. But, um, so I can use this on my salad as topping or I can just take that chicken breast and eat that as a meal. I've got sauteed onions and bell peppers. I've got yellow bell peppers and red bell peppers. I've got the last Cherokee purple tomato from my garden and I've got a fresh avocado. So I will have food um, to make a bunch of meals, but right now I'm gonna do lunch. So I'm just, I've got, like I said, I've got my lettuce ready. I'm gonna add the meat. I'm going to add the onions and peppers. There we go. I'm gonna grab some tomatoes put those on there. Finish it off with a couple of avocado slices. And there is lunch. Like I said, I've got lots of leftovers, lots of stuff to prep meals. So I don't have to come in here and cook a lot of stuff. I can just grab what I want. I could do chicken and I've got some bacon that I've already cooked and put in the refrigerator. So I could easily add um, chicken and bacon, do that. Um, you can do the meat, you can add the chicken to this if you want to. There's just lots of options, but this is just what I'm having for lunch.